little excerpt on uh, something that happened back in the day. Um, it says, the church of Satan welcomes you. It was uh, scribbled backwards in red lipstick on the mirror in my room at a low budget motel. We were staying at one night during the Soldiers Under Command tour. So we all got off the bus. I went into my room and I saw that on my mirror. Um, and I just thought, okay, that's, that's really creepy. I wasn't sure who left it, if it was a joke or serious or, or what. Uh, but that tour was my first reali uh, realization that being a striker could become difficult mentally at times. Fortunately, I was still young in my faith, and I was eager to take on whatever challenges might be thrown my way without complaint. Today, if I saw strange messages mysteriously written on my hotel room mirror, I'm not sure how I would handle it. My immediate reaction to this backwards lipstick message was laughter, and at once I kind of thought, okay, this is a joke. I snuck in here and, and took his lipstick that he wears every night. <laughs> <laughs> Wrote it on the mirror. Um, I assume that one of the guys in the band was playing a practical joke on me. How else would someone know this was my room? It had to be Rob, Oz, or Tim. But after inquiring, for, uh, inquiring further, I discovered it was not a joke. I was a bit thrown off by the whole thing, and I, I suppose I became even more uncomfortable when I realized that this was real. How could someone have known that uh, this would be one of the rooms we were, we'd be staying in? Furthermore, how did they get in the room before I arrived? I never did find out. And surprisingly, it didn't scare me enough to do anything about it. I just grabbed a paper towel and cleaned it off without giving it much thought. You know, over the years, we've had lots and lots and lots of threats, uh, <coughs> situations like that, on a, on a small scale like that, and on a, on a really grand scale. Uh, it hasn't really stopped us. It hasn't slowed us down. And, and I'm not sure if the person or the group of people doing it is trying to scare us and slow us down or make us say, okay, we're out. But that's the type of stuff that almost fuels the fire in Striper. It drives us to to want to do more, to want to go. Uh, like, for example, not long ago we went to Jakarta and we played to a a group of Muslims, for the most part, primarily Muslim audience. And we were really excited about that. You know, a lot of Christian bands might not be as excited as Strait uh, is or was to do something like that because they might they might be fearful and might feel like that's, you know, why would why would they go and perform the Muslims in a, in a country that they might not get out of alive? Because there were definitely some odd things that happened during that trip. But uh, we look forward to those situations. There was an opportunity we had to go and do a show in Mexico with Slayer. I, I got really excited about that. Because uh, again, it was an open door, something we had never done before, to play to Slayer's audience. We might have been booed off the stage. We might have had everything thrown at us. We might have been injured, and hopefully not. But again, that's what we do. You know, we take it very serious. We're, we're really ready and uh, able to jump on the front lines and go out there. Do it, uh, and especially back in the day, even more so back in the day, it was much more magnified. But uh, we've gone through a lot of situations like this, and again, this is just a real, not too scary, but we've had some pretty scary situations, and and here we are, we're still doing it, uh, and it's driven us to continue on. So it's really cool.